You might not believe in God and the devil, or heaven and hell, but the people in power do. Our world leaders and top celebrities worship Satan. And I can prove it, because they've been telling us for a long time. And you know, it's sounding a little bit strange, and I'm like, if you don't get this right now, I swear to Lucifer, I'm going to... Um, thank the devil and all the dark lords who don't do the devil stuff. gave her this award don't do the devil stuff. and allowed her to feast on the flesh of the yeah, enemy. Thank, thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration. Uh, this is, I, I'd like to, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Satan. Uh, do you actually know what you are watching when you turn on the TV? Do you really see what they're showing you? This world is not what you've been led to believe, and you're not just being entertained. Like, you hear about it, but it's, it's, it's dark and demonic energy that this industry was built on. If you watched the opening ceremony for Gothard Tunnel, you would be left with a strange feeling. This five-hour event was attended by governments from across the globe to celebrate the opening of the world's longest tunnel. But the bizarre show was clearly satanic, and it had no obvious relevance to a train tunnel opening. We are constantly being bombarded with biblical symbolism, with strong demonic themes. If it's not Satan himself, it's horned figures, or the number 666, or people wearing robes, standing in a sacrificial circle, or offerings being made at an altar. Lil Nas X gave Satan a lap dance in his video, Call Me By Your Name. And no one batted an eyelid, because it's art, or because it's funny, or because it's cool. But at some point, you have to stop and think. Why is this symbolism so prevalent? And why is it even included in pop music, or artists who are not edgy rock stars? By the end of this video, you will realize that there's nothing actually edgy or artistic about it at all. Art is supposed to be unique, and that's often what makes it special. But these videos are just repeating the same thing. When you compare all of the footage together, you can see that they keep showing the exact same symbols and the exact same biblical scenes. Many of these artists preach atheism, although some claim to be Christian. If they were really atheists, then why would they keep recreating biblical scenes? And if they are actually Christian, then why are they so obsessed with the devil? One obvious theme that's repeatedly pushed in the media is the story of Adam and Eve, a story that depicts the fall of mankind.